Hi everybody, this is Julian. I'm still in Las Vegas for AWS reInvent. And in this video, I would like to give you a quick tour of uh, SageMaker Studio and show you some of the capabilities that we introduced. Uh, in particular, how to automatically create models with uh, Amazon SageMaker Autopilot and, uh, and how to deploy those models and how to set up monitoring with uh, Amazon SageMaker model monitor. Okay, and I'll try to show you a few things along the way. So uh, the, the Amazon SageMaker Studio is available in the US East 2 region only at the moment. So that's where you, you'll find it. Just go to uh, the SageMaker console and there's a getting started uh, link there showing you uh, how to create a user for SageMaker Studio and there are different ways to do this. You can create IM users, you can create SSO users. So just these are simple steps. Just follow the follow the, the instructions and, and you'll be set up in no time. And uh, I've already opened Studio in the interest of time and so we find ourselves directly into the IDE, right? And uh, it's based on, uh, on JupyterLab. So that's going to be familiar. We have uh, uh, our file view here and um, and running terminals or running kernels. We have a Git client. Uh, we have some settings. We have experiments. We'll get back to that. Endpoints, so none for now, and open tabs, right? Uh, please bear in mind that some parts of uh, Studio are uh, in preview, as uh, I mentioned in the in in the corner here. So you know, over time, um, some features might change. Some features might be removed, uh, new features will be added, but uh, hopefully, um, you know, this will uh, this will give you a, a good introduction. So um, you can launch all kinds of things. Uh, you can launch uh, different uh, different containers. Uh, there's a base uh, Python container and MXNet and TensorFlow. And again, I expect more to to be created over time. Uh, you can create notebooks. Well, you know, it's JupyterLab. Um, as we know it uh, from from that perspective. So let's see um, uh, if if we can use uh, a notebook. Okay, so let's get started. And of course, first we want to download the dataset and extract it. Okay, um, then we can use pandas to visualize the dataset. And again, if you've uh, worked with SageMaker before, certainly you, you've seen this uh, data set. It's used in, in a number of notebooks. So if you haven't, it's a very simple data set. It's got about 42,000 lines and um, uh, with a, a number of uh, uh, customer features. And the last column here called Y says if yes or no, this customer has accepted a marketing offer. Okay, so it's a binary classification problem. Uh, and we have all kinds of different features here. And the only thing that we could say about this data set is it's uh, quite unbalanced. Uh, as you can expect, we have uh, many more no's than we have yeses. Okay. And all right, this is what we're starting from. And we see uh, numerical features and we see um, uh, categorical features and, and so on. Right. It's pretty typical. Okay. So, um, of course, I could I could try and, and train models on this using uh, classification algorithms. Maybe I could try uh, XtBoost. Maybe I could try something else. Um, but let me show you how to use SageMaker Autopilot to get everything going uh, automatically. So the only thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any data preparation because uh, SageMaker Autopilot will do that for us. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split the data set and uh, I'm going to keep 5% for me as a test set uh, should I want to uh, to score the model afterwards. So I'm going to give 95% of the data to, uh, to SageMaker Autopilot and of course, internally, this will be split again into uh, training and validation. And I'm just going to keep 5% for me. Okay, so I see those two files and then I just simply upload them to S3, right? And so we see uh, the location in S3 of uh, this training set that we're going to pass to Autopilot. Okay, and that's it. We Again, we don't do any feature engineering. We don't do any, any processing on this. We start from there. So let me grab this location here 
OK, and then I'm going to go to the Experiments uh, tab, and I'm going to click on Create Experiment. OK, and this brings up a new window. So first, let's start with a name. So how about uh, Marketing uh, AutoML Demo? The location of input data. So that's uh, that's uh, that path we just uh, uh, printed out in the notebook. The target attribute name. So what's the column I want to predict? Okay, so let me switch back to this again. Right, the label we want to predict is this. Okay, we, so we again we want to figure out yes or no if a customer will accept an offer. So the target attribute name is Y. And the location of the output data, so uh, the, the model we're going to train and, and additional training artifacts, are, let's store them under the output prefix. And then I could select the type of problem that we want to solve. So we can solve classification problems or regression problems, or we could just let uh, SageMaker Autopilot figure it out. And let's do that. And the last bit is, uh, do we want to run the full experiment, meaning do we want to go all the way to training and optimizing a model? So in this case, yes. Or do we only want to run Autopilot to um, suggest candidates? Um, so showing us what could be used to train a model. And uh, as it happens, this is a really cool feature because these candidate definitions, so the pre-processing scripts and the algos and the optimization uh, jobs are uh, defined in an auto-generated notebook and we'll see that notebook later on so for now let's just say yes i want to run a full experiment and we just click on create experiment okay and off it goes and we see the four steps the four stages i should say uh, that the AutoML job will go through. So the first one, as you could imagine, is analyzing data. So analyzing data is where Autopilot will uh, uh, look at the data set, run all kinds of statistics, try to automatically figure out the problem we're trying to solve, which here is obviously a binary classification problem. And then it's going to start um, uh, looking at uh, possible um, uh, pre-processing scripts okay and then it will move on to feature engineering okay and um, and in, during feature engineering it's going to of course apply different transformations to the data set it's going to uh, uh, look at possible algos and then it's going to fire up tuning jobs where um, uh, based on the candidates that have been identified, it's going to try and uh, using hyperparameter optimization, which has been present in SageMaker for a long time, it's going to extract and try to extract every bit of accuracy from the model. Okay, and then of course it will be completed. So um, some of these steps, uh, as you can guess, take a, a bit of time. So um, so I will edit out. Um, the <laughs> the time spent running those steps and uh, and I'll see you in a few minutes and uh, and then we'll talk about uh, the rest of the process okay so let's